Now, I don't even know what this rupt is, and what I mean by this rupt, and I don't know exactly where, I just need, I just know that it, something needs to be disrupted, starting with myself, starting with the people I, I meet, because if they're not happy with the way things are, and yeah, and they know something needs to change, but they keep on doing the same old, same old, hoping for the different result like we all do. And I was using a little saying there a few minutes ago going, I'm a bunny rabbit in a headlight. Have been for quite a time. I just was startled and didn't notice that 10, 20 years have passed me by. And it's not that I didn't have a great life and got paid bills. And, you know, by all means, I'm a professional. I'm paid well. I'm just going, is this all there is? The, the industry experiences that you had, you suddenly found that you could you could transfer those skills quite easily across to the That's industry. That's it, transferable skills. It's a wrapper. What, what I bring as a starting point is a wrapper of everything that most other individuals I'm meeting in the industry are not. So what my first interactions with the industry is meeting a number of production companies that were in, the, in different processes of making various documentaries or films or episodes or pilot series. And, but what they're all saying is, and the, all, the common between them all was, we've just run out of budget. We have some money, we have no money, we'd like to make this, we'd like to make more, but ultimately we need money to create the product. And is that because they hadn't analysed what they were doing at the beginning? Exactly. What's happening is, and I've met it in other industries, is especially with small and medium-sized enterprise and even watching Dragon's Den and Shark Tanks, anyone that has a product or a service, they're in operations, they're in production, they're, in, they're, they're not necessarily the expert of selling and marketing and distribution and business development and IT and HR and finance. What they know is if a product which may or may not work, which might be priced well, that may or may not even have an audience or a customer base that may or may not be willing to pay for it. And using artists and craftspeople as a particular market segment, which I would have interaction with in terms of my, like a lot of artists I know, they, they're painting paintings and creating works and then stopping and not showing them. And then, or maybe having a bunch of works, but not having a route to market or a Facebook page or a business, you know, no, no, they're not selling it to anybody. So now they've gone through the expense of their time and energy and effort and materials and effectively haven't made any money and haven't even looked to make money. Now, bring that to the next step. You no, know, an awful lot of people are out there and they're using all this technology. And they're, if you look at 100% of artists, you might find 5% are doing very, very well or are supported by various authorities. Another 5 or 10% could be making money through their own efforts in social media and all the rest of it. And there's a bigger bunch of people out there going, I can paint the painting. But I don't know what Facebook is. And actually, if I'm, in, if I'm in Facebook, I'm not painting paintings. And all I want to do is paint paintings for customers. And I hope they like it, but I have to like it first. And I'm not going to show my work unless I'm happy with it. And then you suddenly transfer that to writers and script writers. They're, they can write shows, but sometimes for audiences that don't exist, for marketplaces that don't know they exist, and no one's actually asked for them, and the whole market's moved on. And if you start thinking of TV and... To me, based on conversations I'm hearing, you know, the, 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 the RTEs and the TG4s are dead men walking based on budget and TV licenses and the new routes to market are iTunes and, and the Netflixes and the Amazon Primes and God, no, I don't even know what half of it means, but I know what it is. It's been disrupted. It's changed markets. Your customer's a different customer. You don't even know where they are. You have no idea how they're consuming it. You're not even talking to them. And what, what, what's happening on the production side is you're we're, we're producing the same product in the app and not really taking into consideration how it's going to be consumed. So thanks for watching, please subscribe and uh, click that bell notification wherever it is. I don't know, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not editing this video. Just tune in next time. Love yous.